Today we're going to explain the operation controls and display functions of the Gilson GA6 Gilsonic Auto Siver Sonic Sifter, which offers precise and dependable particle separations of fine granular materials and dry powders. The run stop button starts and stops the sieving action. The run LED light is on when the auto siver is running. If stop is pressed during a sequence, the GA6 will abort the test. If the run stop button is pressed again, the same test program sequence will be initiated from the beginning. The manual auto button selects either manual or program modes of operation. The manual mode is generally used when determining test settings for a particular sample. The auto mode is used when inputting test parameters or selecting previous test parameters from the unit's memory. The pause resume button interrupts the testing progress. The pause LED light is lit when this function is activated. When a test is paused, remaining time and sequence position will be indicated on the control panel. Press the pause resume button a second time to resume operation. The program button is used to enter test amplitude and phase times. The button is pressed to accept the displayed value and advance to the next entry. This function is also used to review previously saved test parameters. The recall and save buttons are used to store and recall previously saved test parameters. These functions are enabled in the automatic mode. Alternatively, the up and down arrow functions are used for setting time and amplitude values and are enabled in the manual mode. The Gilsonic Auto Siver also has horizontal and vertical tapping actions that freeze lodged or near sized particles from binding the mesh openings. The off button disables all tapping. Pressing this button will make the sieving action of the unit solely dependent on sonic energy. The up arrow button activates vertical tapping, thereby elevating and reorienting particles on the mesh surface. The up and right button engages both horizontal and vertical tapping assures maximum movement of hard to separate material. Test phase diagram and indicator lights indicate what phase the test operation is at. The time A phase is the beginning of the test sequence where amplitude is increased from zero to maximum program setting. This gradual increase of amplitude allows test samples to gently separate before more energetic action occurs which may cause test particles to clump. The time B phase determines the time that the test will run at the programmed maximum amplitude setting. Most of the test time will be in this phase. The time C phase is when testing amplitude declines from maximum to zero to separate any near size particles on each sieve. And finally, the LED digital display shows all the settings and values needed when programming and using the auto sieber. For any questions concerning the GA6 Gilsonic Auto Sieber Sonic Sifter or for any Gilson product, please contact the Gilson Technical Support Team.